Hello friends, I'm Parviz and this is our fifth video and Flask Web Development for Beginners. In the last video we have covered how, how you can uh, build your folder structure in, C, uh, in Flask. Also how you can add uh, temp Jinja templates to your Flask application. Also how you can uh, include CSS files uh, for your Flask application. Uh, this is from the previous video. Uh, let me show you that how we had made a static folder and we had made uh, templates and static we are uh, there is our style.css and we have included the style.css like this okay uh, in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, include uh, bootstrap uh, styles to your flask application uh, as you know Bootstrap is an uh, open source and free uh, front end framework for web applications and websites. Uh, you can simply download the. Uh, ver there are different versions. I'm using version 4. You can simply download from their websites. Okay, uh, now I'm going to open my PyCharm ID. And in here, I have down already downloaded the Bootstrap 4. I'm going to just copy these two. Uh, if I show you the folder in CSS, I have these fo files, and in JS, I have uh, these files. I'm going to just copy these two and paste in my static folder like this. Okay, now uh, I have a CSS folder and I have JS. Okay, now how you can include this. For including this, uh, I'm going to add a link href and url underscore 4. Uh, that is in my static folder. And my file name is in CSS folder that's called bootstrap. Uh, bootstrap dot main dot css okay also add uh, rel to style sheet uh, now i'm going to test this uh, by adding a simple bootstrap class button that it is working or not uh, button type button and the classes btn btn Success and you can give the size. I'm giving a uh, LG large size. Start learning. Uh, now I'm going to refresh this. Uh, you can see now I have uh, successfully uh, included the uh, bootstrap files to my Flask application. Uh, now, how you can add the, uh, this GS file also? Uh, for GS file, you can simply in here write script type text JavaScript and this RC is. URL for and that is in my static folder and the file name is GS bootstrap dot main dot GS uh, Remember that uh, you should add uh, your now close this tag uh, your jQuery files and uh, JavaScript files at the bottom of the page. It will be good if you add this. Okay. Uh, now this is our Hello Flask application. Now in here, if you see uh, in my app, I have two pages, and in register, if I click 
register and this is my register page and this is my uh, index page that I have a bootstrap button uh, thank you if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos don't forget subscription of my channel